Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today following yesterday's epic iOS 10 concept review video, I wanted to create this one, which like yesterday's is also going to be super quick, discussing iOS 9.3, the next untethered jailbreak, as well as Apple's rumored March event. And the reason why I just said March event instead of March 15th event is because it's speculated that it's actually been pushed back by about a week. Now this video is really like part three, so if you have yet to watch the first two parts, I will actually have a special playlist that I've created down below in the more info as well as on your screens now via the cards and annotations. Definitely check those two videos out first so you have some context and you know what we're talking about today. Once you have, you can come back here and pick up right where you left off. So first of all, we need to talk about this event, which initially was rumored for the week of the 14th, specifically March 15th. However, now it's expected that it's been pushed back. Initially, last week, word started to go around. It actually originated on a Korean site that the event had been pushed back until the week of March. March 21st, and it was mostly ignored at the time because it seemed kind of sketchy. However, now Rico, definitely a reputable site, claims to have sources familiar with the situation that can corroborate that the event has been pushed back to the week of March 21st, and it was then updated later to state that it would actually be on March 21st, which is a Monday, and it will likely be held in Apple's Town Hall Auditorium in Cupertino, California, one day before Apple is scheduled to face the FBI in court concerning the San Bernardino case. We're not really going to get into that in today's video, though. So what's going to happen at the event, and why is this important to jailbreaking? We're going to get to it in just a second, but essentially Apple is rumored to unveil the upgraded 4-inch iPhone, as well as a new regular size 9.7-inch iPad. And some things have changed since we last talked about these devices in part two of this series, most notably the iPhone 5SE, the 4-inch iPhone, may actually just be called the iPhone SE. Now, that's a little bit better, but I think it would be better suited to be dubbed the iPhone mini. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Also remember when we did talk about the iPad Air 3 in this episode, we actually referred to it as the iPad Pro 9.7 inch because that's what word on the street is right now. Rumors are suggesting it will just be dubbed the iPad Pro, similar to its larger counterpart. So essentially there will be two iPad Pros, which seems rather odd and like it could be confusing, but we'll just have to wait and see until that event which name Apple decides to go with. Now, if they are unveiled on March 21st, that means they will most likely be released later that week, that Friday on March 25th. But let's talk jailbreaking now because I'm sure that's what the majority of you are really interested in. See, last time I talked about this was when we were still under the impression that the date of the event was March 15th. That gave us three weeks from the time of iOS 9.3 Beta 4's release date to figure out the official release of iOS 9.3. Because both the new iPhone SE as well as the updated 9.7 inch iPad are expected to ship with iOS 9.3. But since the event has seemingly been pushed back, that gives us an extra week to work with for four weeks total. Remember, there is going to be another iOS 9.3 beta firmware, which I discussed in this video, and the event again looks like it's going to be held on March 25th. That gives us two weeks between when iOS 9.3 beta 4 was seeded to when beta 5 will be seeded, and then another two weeks until when the public version should be released, which actually may be the exact same date as the event, again, March 21st. It could also be March 22nd though, since that is a Tuesday, and since Apple does like to release public firmwares on Tuesday. They did that for both iOS 9.2 as well as iOS 9.2.1. And since we know that the next untethered jailbreak is going to be heavily contingent upon iOS 9.3, again, more details can be found on that in part one of this series, that means that we're waiting for the firmware to be released before we can receive or expect a new untethered jailbreak. And since it looks like this may also be pushed back just like the event, that could kind of delay things as far as jailbreaking is concerned and push us from the end of March until possibly the beginning of April because it does usually take jailbreak developers about one to two weeks following the release of a firmware that they're actually going to target before they can push out a public jailbreak utility. So this kind of just delays things ever so slightly and we can most likely attribute it to the case that Apple currently has and is involved with, with the FBI. I really do hope you guys like this video. Remember, I wanna keep you as updated as possible when we're talking about a new untethered jailbreak. Remember, when I discussed my initial predictions, I said that absolutely anything could happen to kind of delay things, and this is one of those situations. So that's why I wanted to create this video to update you since that date 
for the event has been pushed back, that means the jailbreak will also most likely be pushed back as well. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and let you know what's going on. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you appreciate my constant effort to keep you informed. And if you wanna be updated even more often, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. That way you can't miss out anytime I release new videos concerning jailbreaking, the rumored iPhone SE, even the iPhone 7. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.